So I did a collaboration the other day with this gentleman named Justin. He came up with a really good question asking, should real estate investors get their real estate license? What's up guys, Steve, Steve Invest helping real estate agents, brokers, and real estate investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. As mentioned, had a really good collaboration. His name's Justin. He uh, actually teaches uh, wholesaling. I'll actually provide a link for you guys as well so you can check him out. Um, but let's dive into the conversation. I get this question a lot, Steve, and it's should I get a real estate license or should I not? Or as, an, as a real estate investor, I want to grow. I want to become a real estate investor. I want to have a a portfolio of homes, perhaps, or, uh, you know, I, I maybe want to get into multifamily. And it, it, is it something maybe that I should consider doing, getting a real estate license? Or is it because uh, I've heard both sides, Steve. I've sure. honestly had guys say, hey, listen, man, it's just a little more. It's just, it'll be extra work, extra hassle, extra paperwork, extra disclosures, extra things you got to say, extra things you got to remember, extra people right. you have to consider, your, your broker, so on and so forth. But then again, I have other people that have told me, hey, you know, if you're really serious about doing this, this is what you'll do. Yeah. Now, talk on this. I mean, it, I think it just depends, you know, if you're, if you're relying on maybe somebody else that's going to scout your deals and, and comp it out. And if you're buying and flipping, figuring out the ARV and, and so forth, and you have a good agent for that and you're working full time in another field, then it might not make sense. But if you're scouting your own deals and, you know, I, you know, I'm over in the uh, Southwest Florida and I signed up for, the MLS on the East coast, because I wanted to start studying that market out there. So you, you have the ability to have more tools at your disposal for valuing properties when you become a real estate agent with the MLS, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. relying on Zillow or, um, you know, realtor.com or, you know, it's like <laughs> the, the, the sites are, are crap at the end of the day for trying to value, value property. So yeah. um, access to MLS, I think is, is a, a big tool that you're going to get being a licensed real estate agent. Yeah. You know I, mean? I, I, I think you're, you're, you're 100% correct. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many times being an unlicensed guy, I have sat down in front of a property lead and went to Zillow only to find out that I can't really find any comparables, <laughs> yep. you know? Uh, I don't know exactly what this is worth, and man, that's a bad feeling because uh, yep. it's like, uh oh, what do I do now? And I've even I've even uh, called realtors and said, hey, you know, can you just help me analyze uh, analyze a bunch of these property deals as they come through? And, you know, everybody is so friendly and they want to help. But that's kind of a it's kind of a, a time waster for them a little bit. Right. So are you a real estate investor? Do you have a real estate license? What's your take on things? Do you think that real estate investors um, with real estate licenses have an advantage or maybe not? I'd like to hear about it. Comment below. If you got one good thing from this video, go ahead and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos we got coming at you. Or at the end of this clip, there's going to be four other options for you to click on and browse around. I appreciate the support. See you.